Hello everyone, welcome to Apps Tutorials. Today, we are going to dive into a practical lecture of creating tables HTML. Here is the required output on the browser. We are going to code something which will produce this output on the browser screen. So, let's get started with our editor. Here is a pre-written code for demonstrating how we can create tables in HTML. Let's understand each of these lines one by one. In the last lecture, we have already learned about inserting multimedia in HTML. So here we have been started by declaring the table tag inside our body tag along with the align, width and border for aligning the table in the center. The width attribute will make sure that the tables cover only 60% of the area as per the screen size of the user's device while the table border will remain the same across these devices. You have an idea about it, right? Tell us in the comment section why the width of the table changes with user's device but the table border remains the same. Let's get back to our code. Inside the table tag, we have declared the table rows by declaring a tr tag with a height of 60 pixels. Inside the table tag, we have inserted the data inside the cell with the help of td tag by declaring the width of the cell to be 10% padding, which is the space between the cell border and its content. To be 10px and the alignment of the cell contents to be centered inside the cell. Similarly, we have declared 5 td tags, declaring the 5 columns in the table. Inside the second tr tag, we have declared the first td tag with a call span value of 3, which will merge the first three cells of the row to create a single cell, while in the second td tag, we have declared the call span value of 2 to merge the rest of the two columns of the table cell. If you have already observed, we have also declared a row span value of 2 in this td tag which will merge the cells of the two rows to add the cell content, which in this case is an image. In the last table row, we have declared the td tag which is similar to the first td tag in the second row. So here our code is complete and it's time to see the output. Here is the output of a code on the browser screen. As you can see here, that the first row has all the five columns in the table while the second and third row has only two columns as I've merged them using the call span attribute of the table tag. Also, the second and third row have been merged after the first column of both the rows to create a single cell and the image has been displayed inside the cell. This is how the row span works. I hope you have enjoyed coding along with me and learned to create tables using HTML tags. In the next video, we will learn coding of some useful tags in HTML. Thank you. Click the subscribe button to stay updated with all our recent videos.